exactly two weeks from today. The first Americans can begin signing up for health insurance under the Obamacare exchanges, but that's not stopping some lawmakers from trying to find ways to defund the law. A number of Republicans are also proposing delays for the individual mandate. In the meantime, a brand new Fox News poll, there it is, 68 percent of Americans say they are very or somewhat concerned about their health care under the new system. That's more than twice the amount of those who aren't worried. Jim Engel is live in Washington with more on this. Hi, Jim. Hello, Greg. Well, that and other polls show how unpopular Obamacare is, but another poll shows the only thing that undercuts the distaste for Obamacare is trying to shut down the government to stop it. Listen. They think it is a failed piece of legislation that is going to hurt the country and, interestingly enough, hurt their families, many of them. But they don't agree with the strategy of tying a defund measure <clears throat> that might lead to a, to a temporary shutdown of the government. Now, even those who don't like Obamacare reject a shutdown by a two-to-one margin. Some conservative Republican senators have pushed to permanently defund Obamacare by attaching it to a resolution to continue federal spending, which threatens to shut down the government. So GOP leaders are shifting strategy to delay the law for a year, just as the president delayed several provisions for a year, including the employer mandate. Listen. Doesn't the administration think those folks deserve some relief, too? The same kind of delay, at least, that businesses will get? Well, Republicans do. The president now has delayed it, or said he wants to delay it, for big businesses and insurance companies. And so American families are saying, what about our relief? The key is to get Democratic votes in the Senate. A delay measure got more than 20 Democratic votes in the House. And one Republican says a measure to match the president's other delays could win votes from Senate Democrats facing tight races next year. When this is going to be a tough sell in some of those red states that Democrats have to defend anyway. So I think it is quite possible. I think they'll put a, a lot of pressure on the leadership to go ahead and delay for a year. A one-year delay even draws support from some of those behind the permanent defund movement. Senator Mike Lee tells Fox a year's worth of delay in Obamacare would be better than letting Obamacare kick in as planned right now. A bipartisan move to delay would also pit the president against both parties, not to mention many unions which want the law delayed or even repealed. Greg? Jim Engel in Washington. Jim.